take a look at the mercenary Iberian swords. Uh, they are just Iberian swords available for the Lusitania and the Arabachi. Carthage can bring a maximum of four of them as mercenaries. Very good, very cheap units. They have 35 melee attack, which is pretty good. They have a charge bonus of 20, which is decent. Their melee defense is stellar at 60. The one place they are lacking is in armor, so they only have 15 armor. You need to keep these guys away from cavalry and missile fire. But one of the things that might not be apparent at first glance on this uh, on the unit card is that they have 80 range and they are throwing, instead of throwing wooden javelins, they are thro throwing soliferum, which is a solid iron javelin that has more armor penetration than regular wooden javelins of lower quality. So, the, the reason uh, these guys are so cost effective and so versatile is showcased very well here. These Galatian Raiders get too close to my skirmishing lines for my liking, and these guys, by just having fire at will on, they are able to decimate these Galatian Raiders. Now, they have the mercenary Iberian swords have five of these Soliferums, but they have, are 120 men in each unit, so each volley is going to be a lot more devastating than if they were only 90 men, like most skirmishers are. And it's very easy to to underestimate them and to move too close with horse skirmishers and horse archers. And if you do that, they're going to take a lot of them out very quickly. Now, just on that short pass, these guys killed 14 horses, these guys killed 15 horses, and these guys killed 22 horses in a matter of seconds. So very effectively negating the, the threat of these, these uh, Galatian raiders. Now, the nice thing about these mercenary Iberian swords is that they are both skirmishers and they are also quite capable melee infantry. So when they have spent their soliferums, they aren't useless. They can be used to quite good effect against rear, the rear of enemy units and against their flanks. Now here I'm just going to keep sending my mercenary Iberian swords up because he doesn't have any support for his units here. And when these Galatian raiders are trying to run away, the mercenary Iberian swords are going to hit them with javelins. And look at that, that's going to take out a lot of horses. And these guys are very cheap, they cost 320 in multiplayer, 46 kills, 18 kills and 22 kills. So they are very close to paying for themselves just by skirmishing a bit with these, these horses. Now you need to keep an eye out for any counter charging cavalry because these light horse will be able to do a number on these guys when they aren't braced. If they're able to throw their soliferms they can do a da damage to the light horse but if they get charged by the light horse they won't live for very long. So stay, uh, keep these guys out of uh, any charges, and they will be very effective indeed. Uh, here's just, uh, I'm just using this battle as a backdrop for the discussion, because this battle both shows the skirmishing capabilities and the melee capabilities of these Iberian swords. Now they're able to throw their javelins at the light horse, quickly making that unit a non-factor in the battle, making it waver. And look at the kills here, these are all cavalry kills, so very high value kills. The melee engagement is starting, and I'm just going to use these guys to take care of this cavalry. More Soliferums coming in. The engagement starts happening, and now these guys, when they have dealt with this, this cavalry, they will be in a pretty nice position to flank, and if they have some javelins left, they can use those javelins to support the main engagements. So I'm going to run them around here, just fast forward, and... throw some more soliferums, kill some more light horse, and this is kind of the one of the most versatile low priced units that you can bring as Carthage, Lusitani and Aravachi. Very very good units and they tend to be underestimated by their opponents. So now I'm going to be able to support this fight, throwing their both throwing their soliferums and charging in. Let's see if they get any kills on the charge, charging into two units there and getting some nice kills. Now these guys were rear charged by these light horse and they're going to get killed by the light horse because they are so light they aren't able to stand up to charging cavalry. Still getting some kills on the light horse but they are going to lose here. Over here they're able to tank fairly well when they are engaged in melee, get some kills and support fights very effectively. Send them, sending them back here to deal with the light horse and when not charged they will be able to defeat light horse fairly easily due to their high melee defense and their okay attack. 
Here they're also doing well, getting kills. This unit is, uh, of Galatian Legionaries is starting to waver. And here they're able to defeat the Celtic Lightors and keep attacking these Galatian Spears, which they will be able to get some more kills on. Rushing them back in here, going for a flank attack on these Galatian Spears, they're going to drop very quickly indeed. The army is losing, so they are wavering. Um, taking a look at the result screen here, these mercenary Iberian swords were able to more than pay for themselves by fending off several cavalry units, supporting melee engagements, and getting a decent amount of kills for a unit that only cost 320 denarii. So give the mercenary Iberian swords or the Iberian swords a go. Just keep them away from enemy skirmishers and keep them away from enemy horse and you should be fine. Keeping these guys alive until the late game when they have used all their infantry, their missiles can be extremely effective and it can be a nasty surprise to see how long these guys are able to hold in melee even against good units because of their high melee defense. So give them a go and I'll see you again on the battlefield.